Dear Kim and Will. Wait, Dear Kim and Will or Dear Will and Kim? Kim and Will. Kim and Will, obviously. Always her name first. Dear Kim and... Wait, always? Hmm. I guess I always have done it that way. Okay, let's shake things up. Dear Will and Kim. What are you, a stuffy traditionalist? We're all forward-thinking feminists here. Then again, Will and Kim. Will and Kim. Not bad. Got a good rhythm to it. Got a good phonetic flow. A certain... No, no, I can't let the patriarchy win. Will and... No. Kim and Will would understand. Ah, here come the endorphins. All right, rebellious buzz. In your face, establishment. Female name first. Dear Kim and... Yeah, yeah, you... You've known her ten years. That's fair game. What are you worrying about? Gosh, ten years. And that would make Will a friend for what? Eight years? Eight years. God, those two are great. Eight years and now they're married, kid on the way. Eight whole years of me putting Will's name second. What are we going to make of that? I mean, are we going to be old men reflecting on our lives over well-aged scotch and still be slaves to this name-ordering convention? All, all because of these two measly years? All because Kim just happened to get in first? I mean, I need to consider his ego too, right? Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> You're a peripheral part of their lives. They're not going to measure their self-worth by your letter introductions? <laughs> no, no. I don't know, though. What if he, he thinks he's somehow less of a man because of it? No, <laughs> come on. He's got a kick-ass beard. He's more of a man than you'll ever be. <sighs> he really is. I wish I could grow a beard. Where was I? Okay, okay. Let's just put his name first. A bit of healthy variety will even things out. Dear Will and... Uh, unless they notice the change of flow. What, what if I only draw attention to it by changing to it? No, no, no. You're, you're being ridiculous. They're hardly keeping tally. <clears throat> Dear Will... Oh... Geez, you're not keeping tally either, are you? What? What if? What if this conversation with myself is the same conversation I had with myself last time? I don't know. I'm anxious over thinking. That doesn't sound like me, right? God, I probably did. I can't remember. Let's let, let's say I did. Okay, yeah, yeah, you probably did. Right. And the time before that? What if I did it the time before that? What if? What if this balance is already over tipped the wrong way? Which way is it balanced? Which way is it tipped? Uh, damn it, why can't I keep track of these things? Why does my brain treat these important things like disposable memory? Like, like we're just a dream. Like we're just the name of the actor who plays Ted on How I Met Your Mother. I mean, it's so weird. He's the star of the show. He's the narrator of the show. Everyone else on the show is a household name. I mean, Alison Hannigan, Jason Segel, Coley Smulders, Neil Patrick Harris. I don't know. I want to say Josh. Josh... Josh... I've lost it. What? Why is this all... Wait, wait. Focus, man! The snowballing subconscious well-being of the fictionalized, more emotionally fragile, imaginary versions of a real-life couple are at stake. Let's just randomize it. Kim, Will, Will, Kim, Kim, Will, 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 Kim, Kim, Will, 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 Okay, we've shuffled the deck. All right. Pause. Deep breath. Running start. One. Two. Josh Radnor! Not helpful, Brain. There's gotta be a better way. Like, I, I don't know, an endearing compound name? Quil Quilliam. Will Willigam. Yes, that yes, that's Willigams. No, no, that's terrible. You're trying too hard. They can tell. They can always tell. No, gotta play it cool. Loosen up. Loosey goosey. <sighs> Oh, I'm going to play it so damn cool they won't suspect a thing. I don't care if it takes all night. I will do this. I will find the perfect greeting. I don't care if they say it can't be done. I'll show them. I will show them. <laughs> I will show them all. Word up, hot doggies. I am deeply sorry for your loss.